I arrived home today to discover a shipment of brand new makeup that I completely forgot I ordered, including this new Bear With Me line from NYX Cosmetics, which is all infused with sativa cannabis oil. Cause it's California, dude. Just chill out and put the makeup on, you know what I'm saying? I also have this Aquaria palette from NYX Cosmetics. That's the winner of season 10's RuPaul Drag Race. And then a whole bunch of other stuff to try out too. So let's just dive in and have some fun getting glam. What do you say? Stay tuned for a NYX try on. My name is Nick and we're doing NYX. Ba 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 ba. Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for this cannabis infused makeup session. I wouldn't call it a tutorial because I doubt you're gonna learn much, but who knows, maybe you will. But first, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you want me to purchase even more makeup that we can try out here. But if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button. It looks just like that right over there. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week. Let's start with this primer. It says, infused with hemp derived cannabis sativa oil blurs and hydrates is this camera close enough to my face though let's see mmm it smells nice it's got like a pink texture to it oh it's very luminous you see that there's like glitter all up in there so I'm gonna have a glow I got an email advertising this line so I just went for it it said that this primer would look good alone or under foundation let's see how it looks alone oof it's very hydrating. It feels like there's a lot of oil in there, maybe. I hope that sativa cannabis oil is not like pore clogging. I doubt it is. Okay, does my face look blurred and perfected? Or maybe it just looks shinier right now. Definitely looks really well hydrated, which is what I would want before I go in with some foundation. Ooh. Ah. Okay, I did not get any foundation from NYX, so I'll just go in with my infallible L'Oreal cover effects or whatever. I just realized today, I did a video when I first bought this foundation, and that was 2016, I think. So I've had this same tube of foundation for too long, I would argue. But it matches really well, and I still barely use it. I just put it on for, like, when I'm doing videos. The very Walgreens that I bought this at has been closed down for a year, so that's a bad sign. I'm keeping makeup longer than the stores that sell it. But here's the thing about makeup expiration. It's not a real thing. I mean, it probably is. Don't take that as the facts of life because you'll get a skin disease. But I don't know. I'll throw it out when the tube is empty. How about that? Mind your business. Ooh. Yeah, that foundation definitely has a more luminous finish than it would if I did just foundation alone or if I used my other pore minimizing primer from Smashbox that I like. I'm gonna do a second layer of foundation just because we might as well go full coverage. We haven't done full face of makeup in a while. I don't remember the last one we did. I think it was more e.l.f. products. Here's the thing. I love shopping. I don't love spending money, but I do love wasting time at work by shopping. So when I get an email that says, oh, there's all this new stuff, when it's some, when there's like a sale that I can fill my cart and still get out of there for like under 70 bucks, that's fun and exciting to me, okay? I'm not gonna apologize. All right, I think we're in beautiful shape with the foundation. What do you guys think? Ooh, ah, gluminous and glowing and perfected and even. Ugh. I'll start with all of the NYX products that I purchased, these sativa ones that were new because that was the original purpose of the video. So I'll do like a natural bear with me look using only that line. And then we'll start to add in some of the other stuff that I purchased from Elf. And I can do some eyeshadow with Aquarius palette. And, and, and the hits keep coming. I need to shut up. So the idea for this look is that I'm going to be beautifully bare. And in order to do that, the next item in the line is the Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Brow Setter. So I think it's just a clear brow gel that I can use to set my brow. I know I shouldn't be using my teeth to open things. I'm so sorry. People are reading me in the comments. My mom hates it. What if I just kept a pair of scissors right by where I shoot my videos. That would probably help. I can't, I can't, I hate it. I wanna use my teeth so badly right now. Ugh, my hands are all slippery. And my other problem is I hate having like pieces of plastic that are still in the way. Uh, okay, I bit the bullet and I got a pair of scissors and I found my new strawberry lemonade kombucha that they just started carrying at Trader Joe's. Oh my God. Ah, it tastes like strawberry lemonade, but it's healthier for you. Make a little kombucha. Do you guys drink kombucha? Give this video a thumbs up if you love kombucha as much as I do. It's good for your healthy gut. Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot. I paid extra to have these two things engraved because no, I didn't even have to pay extra because it was free during the sale. Look, so they had free engraved 
engraving for both the brow setter and the lip oil. And I got my Instagram username engraved on both. Nick Duramio, peace sign. Nick Duramio, that's it, or whatever. Cool, that's so fancy. When I used to sell Yves Saint Laurent makeup, you could get the lipsticks and the makeup brushes engraved, so it's a nice, fancy touch. The only difference was that brand had actual metal packaging, metal components. This is just engraving plastic, so that's not the most common thing. Still, fun. If you're a teenager, that's cool. You can personalize your stuff. And it's usually only two bucks. It was free because of their sale. So let's get some of this Bear With Me brow setter on. You can use this just to put your brows in place on a normal day or after you've done them with more color. So on a normal day, I'll do like a brow pomade, but lately I don't even do that. I'll just comb them into place with an empty boy brow that I have. I just want you to really see how long some of these brow hairs are. Like when I comb them, look at that brow hair. So they obviously need to be set into place. Okay, as far as a brow setting gel goes, I do like this one. It feels soft and flexible to the touch and it gives those brows a nice shiny wet look, which I appreciate. I love the way this foundation primer is changing how that foundation normally looks. Normally looks. Okay, my brows are set and now I'm going to treat my lips with the Bear With Me lip conditioner. So again, these are not products that have pigment. They're like conditioning, whatever, bare looking, natural, hydrating products. And you love it. So we'll just be conditioning our lips today. Mmm, smells nice, kind of like grape, a little fruity. Oh, feels good. Wet lipped. Okay, I definitely appreciate a nice youthful glossy lip, especially knowing that it's mainly a conditioning oil because then it's like kind of like giving yourself a lip mask. You could put this on a few minutes before a lipstick if you didn't want to get crusty or if you're just going for a hydrated chapstick sort of day. What do you think? It has a nice glow to it, I think. Yes, I'm looking really glowy and pulled together, which I think is the whole point of the Bear With Me line. Ooh, yeah, I'm feeling super glamorous, you guys. Do I look super glamorous? Let me know. Maybe some new light. Ooh, glamour. Oh. Glamour, oof, glamour, off uh, glamour. The last item in the line is this Bear With Me oil absorbing, no, cannabis sativa seed oil blotting papers. These are things that I need all the time because I'm constantly trying to soak the shine off of my face and I don't like to powder my face during the work day. Just a little bit in the morning and then it's all blotting papers from then. So because there was no Bear With Me powder in this line, I will just blot off some of the excess shine on my T-zone using these papers and call it a bear with me sativa look. If you're not gonna use powder because you don't want to look cakey or anything, you can sometimes use an oil blotting sheet just to take off some of the extra oil but leave behind most of the pigment. So I'm just knocking back shine on some of the areas that I don't need it too much. It's not a perfect system because as you can see, you get plenty of product that comes off onto your paper. But it is absorbing that oil real good. I look more controlled. Oh, I really love these glossy, shiny lips. I feel like Ariana Grande. Wouldn't she wear this? Look. Ooh, you God is a woman, ba -boom. Okay, what do you guys think of my bear with me look? My brows are set, my lips are glossed and conditioned, and my skin looks very glowy and hydrated, I think. So all in all, definitely successful purchases. You know, when I buy color products, I almost never use them day to day because I don't wear like colorful makeup on a day to day basis. Unfortunately, I'm too boring and lazy. But these are good staples because I always need to hide my lips. I like a primer. I don't have any glowy primers. A radiant primer is good to have in the kit. Oil blotting sheets and brow setter I always need. So I don't know how much the cannabis sativa oil helps enhance the performance of these products, but I do love the way they look right now. So what do you say we add some glam elements to this mix? I'm totally down. Let's start by getting some finishing powder on there since we're unpowdered at the moment. I'll use this beautifully bare finishing powder, sheer tint from e.l.f. and it's in the shade dark dark deep. I love this mirrored packaging they do on some of their products. They look more expensive than they are. I got all of this in a 20% discount sale. Oh no, that is way too dark. This did not look so dark in my previous understanding of it. That's all right, we'll just go really light. I also got this e.l.f. cup powder brush kit because it was cheap and I don't like washing brushes as much as I like just throwing them out and getting new cheap ones. All right, I'm gonna try and finish with a little bit of this powder but I really don't want it to like darken my look too much so let's see. Oh, oh, no, I did it. I darkened my look. <laughs> okay, 
Let's see if we can blend that out. Oh no. So much for sheer tint. I'm going to get a little more foundation on to cover up this mishap. This powder was a miss for me. I should have gotten a shade lighter. I could use it as a bronzer, but I also already have a bronzer in here. So that's where we're at. God, it looks like mud. Is it even yet? Okay, we're better. That was a mistake. I still look weird, don't I? I'll just have to go with it. We're trying to incorporate it into the look. Okay, moving on. Now we're a little out of order, but let me do some concealer. I didn't do this before powder because I forgot. Mm. Now my eyes look bright and my face looks crazy. Is everything looking average? I think I need more concealer all up in here. I can't believe it's already July. This summer is flying by. Are you guys enjoying your summer? I'm trying to plan some sort of vacation. For July 4th weekend, I'm not going anywhere. What about you? This video might actually, it might be July 4th weekend right now, is it? Tell me, what are you doing for 4th of July? Are you scared of fireworks? I need a mattifying powder that's gonna do something real. So I'll be right back. All right, I felt I needed a little more shine control, so. So I pulled out my Elf Air, whatever mattifying oil control powder that we reviewed on another video. Now I'm going to use a fluffier brush, which I should have used in the first place. Powder this all down. There we go. Ooh, but now we can enjoy a little blush and bronzer because I have this aqua infused blush and bronzer from Elf's Aqua Line. Aqua Beauty. Ooh, that's cute. It's got like a blue logo on the front. That's different, right? Okay, Elf. I love this lacquer packaging too. I didn't know we were being so different. Not a bad looking color, I guess. Blush and bronzer. Let's start by bronzing up some things a little bit just to see how much warmth we can get in. I don't know how much pigment any of this has, so I'm gonna be really gentle. Swirling on some summer sun, that's the way we do it in Barbados. Why do I feel like there's dirt right here? Do you see this spot? It looks too dark to me. Do you guys know what movies are good to come out this summer? I haven't looked at any of the trailers, although I did see one for a horror movie called Midsommar. Have you seen that one? I wanna see that, but not everybody's into horror movies, so maybe it's not a good idea. Okay, next I'm gonna do just a little bit of the blush to give some color to the whole thing. Let's see. Come on, Aileen. That's a nice blush. That blends out pretty good. What do you think? Enough, or should I do a little more? I think that looks divine. Now let's do a little on this side. A little bit of color on my face. Am I beautiful now? Am I beautiful now? What do you guys think? Are we good? Can we move on? Is the light good? I'm second guessing myself a lot today. Can you tell? Oh yeah, she's gorgeous. Now I think it'll be cool to get some eyeshadow incorporated. Maybe I'll go for something still natural and bare, but with like a pop of color of some kind. This red color is a pressed pigment and the rest are regular eyeshadow. Do you guys watch RuPaul's Drag Race? I do, I love it. I love it, I love it. And I love Aquaria too, she's so fat. Fashionable. That's why I think she's had a different type of career arc than other winners maybe have because she just knows how to work it. So I'm gonna use this aqua color because it looks really fun and summery. And let's see how this blends. I'm not sure how pigmented these are supposed to be. Oh, that works. I'm using a crease brush because I'm not doing this technically right. Ooh, this gives me very 70s, doesn't it? That like powder blue eyeshadow. Next, I'll take some of the darker blue and just go underneath because why not dumb? I am so hopeless at eyeshadow. I just never know what I'm doing. And I get bored and I give up so fast. Plus the whole thought of like making things symmetrical is really challenging and I don't know. I guess I just don't have the patience. I could probably improve if I cared to, but that's not my life right now. Practice makes perfect though. So if you're trying to get this done, maybe go watch a real makeup tutorial and then come back, tell me what they said. I'll take their advice too. Now I'm gonna use my finger to pack on some white. See how we do? That's fine. Not hating it, not hating it, loving it, living it, feeling it. Now this is a gentle windshield wipe motion. Have you ever watched those like makeup tutorials, like VHS tapes from the 1980s? They're like, a girl with blue eyes has got to do things differently. Shut up. Okay. We've got the best eyes I'm gonna be able to do in this type of situation. Now let's give it some eyeliner. That usually can make everything look a little better or a little worse, depending on who's in charge. Ta-da! Liner on one eye for the most part. I don't know if I'm gonna wing it out yet, so I'm gonna wait it out. This is that Wet n Wild Matte Liquid Liner that we got at the dollar store a few weeks ago. Do you remember that video? I do. It was a beautiful day. It is full-time summer here in LA because I have my air conditioning running. Things are heated. Oof, I can't see. Painting so gently. 
Oops, I made my eyes water. That's gonna mess things up if I don't be careful. Okay. Ooh, yeah. How's that for a wing? You like it? Ooh. She's a sultry woman from the town. I feel like people love it when both sides of your face look completely different. You know, it's like, who am I from day to day? Sometimes her, sometimes her. Let's keep going anyway. Some of the stuff I got from e.l.f. I won't be able to use today, but I still wanna show you. Like these solid brush cleaners were 50 cents or 60 cents or something like that. So I had to pick up a bunch of those. I got three whole ones of those cause they seem like a really convenient way just to scrub off your brushes in the sink between uses. I also got this in the T-Zone bubble mask, which is part of their oil reducing line. And then this mattifying bubble mask. So I've never seen a bubble mask that was meant for oily skin. They're usually pretty hydrating. And I'm curious to try those ones out. Let me know if you'd like to see it. I can save it for another video. I got matte eyeshadow. I hate these. I've used these before. I think I just got it because it was cheap. On the spot blot matte blotting papers, just like the ones that I already have from NYX that I just got. So, you know, I'm really making good use of all of my resources. Now I'm gonna try on another line from, or piece from the Aqua Beauty. It's this Radiant Gel Lip Tint in the shade Dewy Berry. So now that our lips are fully conditioned from that sativa oil, which no lie, look how soft and great my lips look. My eyes look messed up, but my lips look healthy. So let's smooth on some of this Jelly Gel Lip Aqua. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's just a tint. Okay, berry stain, kiss. Definitely feels very non-sticky, and it's definitely more like a tint or a sheer stain. I don't love that. Ooh, yeah, much better when you blot. Now, where's that lip oil? I wanna put it on top. Baby, it's you. Everything is rolling around today. I can't stand it. It's like I sit in front of the camera and then I delicately set up things around me just to knock over. Okay, now let's slather some of this good gloss on top of this berry stained lip and see where we're at. Ooh, lovely. Maybe she just needs a little bit more mattifying powder. Gotta get off the excess shine. And voila, there's our full look. I wish I had some mascara to put on, but I don't. Okay, everybody, here is the final look. What do you think of my full glam transformation? I can say for sure that I am excited about the lip oil and the brow setter. Those two things I'm definitely gonna keep using. Also, the brush cleaner I'm super excited about because I know I'm gonna make practical use of that and the blotting papers, of course. And I have an ever-expanding mask collection, so I'm excited to get into all of these oily skin masks. And the rest of the stuff was really fun to play with. Did anything from this haul jump out at you as kind of fun or unique or interesting? Let me know in the comments below. Also, tell me what you think of the final makeup look. Just be nice. Overall, I would say I feel pretty glamorous. I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I have a lot of enthusiasm. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. That lets me know that you want to see even more fun makeup hauls like this. Also, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button. It looks like this right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you for getting so glam and beautiful with me today. I will see you next time.